I'm back for another video and this video is going to be the beginning of a new series where I start teaching people how to jump rope because I think jumping rope is a much better cardio option than running when you're first getting into fitness because a lot of people who are first starting the workout think it's a good idea to run every day, run off all that weight, but that leads to shin splints and then you can't do anything because if you haven't had them it's very very painful and jumping rope in particular is a bone strengthening activity so the high impact type of activity strengthens your shins to prevent shin splints in the future which is great and other than preventing shin splints and strengthening your bones it also allows you to burn around the same amount or either more calories than you do running it all depends on like what type of tricks you're trying to do or like the intensity of how you're jumping rope and lastly it is also cardio so like any type of cardio is good for your heart we're getting people are getting older as you get older you need to strengthen your bones you got to strengthen your heart so you continue to strive and drive your whole life so i think i'm gonna make a little breakfast take zora for a walk then i'm getting this video i'm gonna show y'all the basics like the first steps of jumping rope because like it's the little things that count so let's get into it Alright people, now that I'm taking Zora for a walk, had a little breakfast, I think I'm ready to get into this. We're going to start from the basics. The basics of jump rope is how to grip the rope, how to twist the rope, and how to jump the rope. Like that, that makes sense. So, we're going to take the jump rope, take your pointer finger and thumb finger, and you pinch the jump rope. And then you grip the jump rope with the rest of your hand. This allows for a lot of motion, a lot of freedom of the rope. Some ropes have ball joints that allow them to actually have freedom, but this is a Walmart $2 jump rope, so I don't have that. Moving on. We're gonna talk about how to twist the rope. Let me just explain it's in the wrist. It's not in your shoulder. It's not in your elbow. It's in the wrist. Pinch, twist the wrist. It's pretty simple. All right, and lastly is you know how to jump the rope. Let's just talk about this, wait a minute. If the jump rope is this big, how high do you think you need to jump off the ground? About this high. You need to jump about this high off the ground. But people jump really high. It's a lot of waste of energy. And it really messed up their technique, so it takes a long time to like work on this. Barely jumping off the ground, you have to like learn how to like believe that you're just gonna go over the rope. You know, it takes just a lot of muscle memory, and a lot of practice. So we're gonna get into it and break it down. I'm starting the bottom. how to grip the rope, how to twist the rope, how to jump the rope. I think everybody's ready to get in practice and I hope everyone takes a little bit of time and gets into it because jump roping is all about like practice and muscle memory until it just becomes habitual. Like in the next video, I'm gonna teach you guys the boxer step, which is basically basic jump roping for me. It's basically like walking and jump roping at the same time. And that's when jump roping becomes like so natural that you feel like you can do it for like minutes and minutes on end. That's when you can use it as like cardio. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I was really winging it. It's a little rough, but I feel like I got everything in that I need to teach you guys. And I hope that someone takes the time to pick up the jump rope. Leave, leave a like, subscribe to the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.